Welcome and thank you for tuning in. My name is Florian Leingang. My colleague Jana Vukas and I are both responsible for the system and project support in the process industry. And we are mainly supporting the topic Simatic PCS7 and Simit Simulation Platform. Together, we would like to give you an impression how useful simulation models as a digital twin of your plant can be during the whole plant lifecycle. We will focus on virtual commissioning and operator training systems. Floria, to start from scratch, can you tell us something about the development of the project business that has taken place in recent years and also how simulation models have supported this development in the area of automation projects? Of course, Jana. The project business in the field of automation technology deals with several obstacles, day by day, and starting at the life cycle of the plant with the conceptual and process design phase, especially when it came to the detailed engineering and the design of the automation software, there were often setbacks, so that the time could not be adhered to and penalties were due. During startup activities like the commissioning phase, for example, fundamental errors were discovered that had to be corrected and had an impact on the rest of the tasks. This totally set back the whole planned timeline. Meeting the set deadline while ensuring the required quality standard has consequently always been one of our greatest challenges. Well, but as I could hear from you, there was a change which helps to simplify meeting the deadlines. Can you explain us how this will be done nowadays? For sure, Jana, I can. Nowadays, getting products onto the market faster or doing modernizations with consistently high quality require an optimized engineering workflow. The shortest possible construction as well as commissioning times for new or changed production lines are also essential. That's why Siemens developed the simulation software Simit. Simit enables the creation of a simulation model and its emulation so that automation solutions can be comprehensively checked against its counterpart. Simit simulates what Simatic automates. To put it in a nutshell, luckily, the situation changed rapidly in the last few years through the usage of digital twins. Especially in the automation environment, our simulation platform Simit has become an established standard in projects. This makes it easier to meet deadlines and to react more flexible. You're right, I totally agree with you. There, I would like to mention that Simit will not only be used in one phase of the plant life cycle, it is present in nearly every phase of the plant life cycle. In general, Simit can support you during the basic feed and detail engineering through the usage of a simulation model, where it is possible to check the engineering directly after its realization also known as simulation supported engineering. With this, you can achieve an early validation of specific automation functions due to the parallel and successive creation of the digital twin. Moreover, our simulation platform can be utilized for the virtual commissioning even before the real plant exists. It can be conducted with the original automation software at any time and any place by only having a PC station available. Particularly in times of home office, Simit is suitable for shortening both the commissioning time and the start of production because it can be used from everywhere. Additionally, with Simit, it is also possible to set up operator training systems. The interactions of operators in different situations of the plant can be trained efficiently by using a virtual model. You see, Simit is present in nearly all phases of the plant life cycle. Thank you, Jana, for this great and first overview of these use cases for simulation. Maybe you can tell us more about the benefits of using simulation models during the engineering phase? Of course, Florian. There are many advantages when using simulation-supported engineering and automation projects. One main benefit is the early testing so that you can validate functions on an early phase via simulation compared to the real commissioning. That means errors can be detected at any early stage and do not have to be resolved at the end during the real commissioning phase, where elementary errors can be fatal. In addition, Simit helps to store information about what is happening in the process with respective process values and process behavior. In this context, it is necessary to have a look at the general virtual plan setup when using Simit. 
Florian, could you describe the setup and give an overview? Well, that's a really good point, Jana. Simit enables you to build a virtual plant model from the instrumentation all the way up to the process level. Compared to the real plant setup, it looks very similar. One big benefit is that the same operator station or human machine interface will be used for the real and the virtual plant. That means that operators do not have to be trained on a new surface and strengthen their knowledge in the already known operator station. The automation system can be presented in real or without hardware components via emulation, which means the simulation of the controller behavior. The rest of the plant, the periphery, field devices and the process will be available as counterparts in a simulation in Simit. When having a detailed look at the simulation software, we can clearly identify the differentiation of the three levels. The signal level, consisting of a coupling to the automation system, the peripheral signals and the hardware information. So this is the most basic level. In general, it can consist of a real controller connected to our SIMIT unit, which enables the simulation of devices and the process behavior or of an emulated controller. Additionally, we have the device level, which contains a combination of simulation components. These are responsible to simulate a feedback of the device behavior, like for instance, the functionality of valves, pumps and drives. With the reuse of already existing engineering data and template-based instantiation, the device level can be created with lowest efforts. The process level, the most complex simulation level, contains the simulation of the overall processes, including necessary process parameters and values. The device and plant behavior can then be easily created in SIMIT charts and are based on ready-to-use components or templates. The combination of the signal, device and process level lets the simulation model act and react like your real plant and you will get an overview of the total system and not only parts of it. The level of detail is increasing continuously from the signal to the process level. Moreover, as mentioned before, the virtual commissioning plays an important role in the context of using SIMIT and in reducing efforts in form of cost and time savings. At the device level, the functionality of sensors, actuators and drives, for example the signal status and answering times, can be proven in detail, addicted to the complexity of the simulation model. SIMIT is consequently used as the central simulation tool of the Siemens portfolio across all sectors. In the discrete industries, like factory automation, SIMIT can be used to cover the electrical, and behavioral model of a machine together with PLSSIM Advanced for the emulation of a S7-1500 PLC. Connectivity is the main attribute of SIMIT. That's why we also have, for example, a specific coupling to Mechatronic Concept Designer of the NX framework. This would add the physical and kinematic model to the digital twin and allows the engineer to improve and test out the mechanical model. Let's jump back to process automation and have a detailed look on the simulation platform again, especially on the libraries which are extremely suitable for virtual commissioning of devices and control modules. Take for example our counterparts of the Siemens process instrumentation product portfolio, which contain generic and detailed device models and use them in SIMIT. They enable an intuitive and advanced testing of the intelligent field devices, riskless and without the need of the real devices. Moreover, the connection between the device and the process level can be proven as well. As a result, the devices interact together and represent the technological behavior of the plan process. With the SIMIT solution device library, you have extended functionalities, which are included in specific SIMIT components. The additional operating windows cover many commissioning tasks like changing the operating mode or enable the manipulation so that a malfunction in the simulated field device occur. The correct visualization of diagnostic messages could be validated with this model and shown in the operator station. The solution device library contains many turnkey device models and is constantly being expanded and maintained from our experts. Well, that's impressive. We have seen a lot of details of virtual commissioning. Can you also tell us how SIMIT can be used as an operator training system? Yes. 
With SIMIT, it is also possible to set up operator training systems. The interactions of operators in different situations of the plan can be trained efficiently by using the virtual model, which may already exist from the earlier virtual commissioning phase. From pilots we know, they have frequent and effective trainings in the flight simulator, so the same concept can be transferred and adapted to production plans. The plant operators can therefore be trained on dangerous plant situations, that they are able to even handle them easily in the event of an emergency case. A transfer of experience and know-how in modular, repeatable training units can be realized, and that location independent. Let's have a quick look at the capabilities of SIMIT in this area. With the digital twin of your plant, operators can be trained on various training scenarios via simulation, even on the most dangerous ones. In general, operator training systems are highly orientated to train the operator on a basis of the real automation system most efficiently. Are there any special functionalities inside of the simulation platform which are highly suitable for the operator training, Florian? Yes, Jana. The snapshot feature, for example, enables the storage and loading of any situation by snapshots and can be used whenever required. Snapshots save specific simulation states and their corresponding automation states of the virtual controller. In the training, these snapshots can be called up and executed as often as required until the operator knows how to handle this kind of plant situation. In the reality, he would not have such a reset button. Moreover, sluggish processes which are very time consuming can be accelerated by using the virtual time management as another helpful feature of the SIMIT virtual controller. On the contrary, fast processes can also be slowed down. So you see, a digital twin of your real plant has many advantages in nearly all phases of the plant life cycle. Having a virtual model of your plant guarantees increased efficiency as a result of higher productivity. Further benefits are improved automation functions and a greater operational efficiency due to operator training sessions in advance. All relevant automation functions can be tested safely and efficiently before the actual startup. Commissioning is normally the last, most critical and expensive step before production. Any time saved in this means products are earlier available on the market and costs can be reduced. A higher quality by conducting tests of the automation program with the simulation model is also guaranteed. And even when we think about plant modernization, for highly productive plants, the top priority is always to keep downtimes as low as possible during the setup process. This requires extensive preparation as well as comprehensive tests that are as close to reality as possible. SIMIT can therefore be the key to a smooth modernization process to keep your plant up to date. With infinite simulation, you can create infinite opportunities. We are your partner in digitalization, simulation and integrated engineering. If you have any questions or you would like to have more information about our simulation platform SIMIT, please do not hesitate to contact us. Stay, Stay tuned! tuned.